Good evening. Welcome back to In the Cut. This is December twenty third, twenty twenty two, seven thirty one p.m. and I'm super late. Welcome back to another episode in this ongoing series here on In the Cut, where life is just passing by and I cannot do much with it. Kind of feel weird talking about the same thing over and over every single day, but that's what it is. That's what life is. So I quickly go through how the day was if I have anything documented. Woke up at eight thirty. Again, that's like a giveaway that it wasn't a good start. Like waking up late. I remember the alarms went off for six six. 37 like there is this this something just physically i know this is metaphorically but it feels like there's something physically chaining my body down to the bed and i cannot get up that's been a trend throughout the year when i was getting up at 5 5:30 it's not like that i'm waking up and I'm magically fresh and happy and ready to take on the day that's never been the case like it's always been a struggle but there is struggle to get up but you still are in a position to get up and then there is oh there is something chaining me down that's another level of struggle so that's what's been going on currently for the past couple of weeks or so i am hopeful that i will get over it because i know it's a phase that keeps coming back but getting over it isn't going to happen by itself i have to put in an effort to do that so took snowy down ate the oat me 1159 worked on the full time job edit changes the same edit i was making on yesterday actually i made yesterday's video saying not a tutorial and then i showed that trendy collage art thing i did they didn't want it so <laughs> to just remove that out i was supposed to work on the bread brand animation that i made and uh, this i actually rendered it and sent it right now so the only thing that i primarily worked on is see this wasn't the case earlier right we had a cardboard box which was just jumping up the stairs so i took the bread stack that i had made for the brand and i wrapped it around like this so this i had to model and i used a bit of so here um if i could open the original one the original box you will see that here this wrap which is around has a cloth simulation on it it's the first time i used cloth but then i was like okay this is looking like a plastic which is like hard metal sort of thing so to in order to make it look like something that's a wrap and over the bread i put a cloth simulation on it and then subdiv service subdiv modifier just makes it a little more smoother so this if i would go into the edit mode has okay with them applied it has a lot of Um, see when you play it, the cloth simulation takes place. With these applied, there's going to be a lot of vertices and a lot of geometry in it. But what I did is I applied the decimate modifier on this one. So now you see these are only seventy-three thousand faces. Decimate modifier put it to point one, and because uh, I had like. merged everything into one thing and then uh, i also texture painted the sides to be completely brown cuz that wasn't the case earlier for some reason yeah rest i added one kind of ribbon thing here as well cuz that's how these bread packets are there's usually a ribbon so yeah i'll quickly like scrub through how the things happen this regular bread situation comes in and then we made this using geometry nodes it's all the same exactly one thing that i did work on is if you see over here towards the end we have uh, this text coming up on the wall so inside after effects i did some power pinning here so this is the composition and i applied power pin and i tried to match the perspective of this wall with this thing so it looks like it belongs there in contrast to how it was earlier is like completely random situation this is the second thing that happened in the day and uh, that is pretty much all in the evening for an hour or so I had gone with dad and parmeet my younger brother to the showroom to check out the car that we're getting that's like one exciting thing that's happening i was thinking though in the morning it was just like a thought like early morning thoughts that if i want to seriously start uploading on my main channel what i can do is i can cut down uploading on in the cord to 3 days a week and so the other 3 days of the week i could work on the main channel's youtube video which can be something related to blender 3d and basically anything it can be and those 3 days i will also not go to the gym so i get like 3 hours in the evening because no in the code recording that's one hour and then a couple of hours here and there with the gym situation so 3 hours in the evening and then if i start getting up at 6 as well so couple of hours in the morning so 5 hours a day should be 5 hours for one big video on the youtube channel still kind of a struggle because i do not exactly know what i want to be putting on the main channel if it is like 3d workflow videos like for example this tear situation then there is a lot that i have to cover so how do i record it will it be like a voice over thing the entire thing has to be decided but time can be made out for for putting out content on um, the main channel and that's something i want to slowly and steadily start working towards that's how life is thank you so much for being in the code i will catch you tomorrow Yeah, tomorrow. Peace.